Hello, family. How are you? I am back on to do another video. Okay, guys. So, what? Um, someone asked me a question, and um, well, actually, some like yeah, someone in my past have asked me a question. Um, and they were just going through some things, you know, as we do in life, we go through a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations. Just and especially now in the times that we are in now, um, it's a lot going on. So I thought I would do a video um, to help to help us to get through um, trial and tribulations and things that are going on. Um, and I thought I would just share with you guys what I do um, just to kind of get through and to speak to the Most High and um yeah so i'm just jump right in and share with you guys so this actually uh what i've been doing has actually been i've been doing it since i was little uh, my mother introduced it to us when we were little and i've been i've been doing it ever since um i probably should have brought the other one with me but anyway so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and get started so I'm going to share with you all, uh, this is what I do, and I'm going to do it with my children. Um, I just have to find some shoe boxes. Um, yeah, so basically, I got a shoe box, and um, this shoe box, you can get any kind of shoe box. It doesn't matter how big, how small it is. Um, I prefer the big boxes um, because I have a lot of prayers. Uh, a lot of prayers uh, just everything I pour into this is what I call my prayer box right that's what this is and I don't know if you can see it um, it's black so it's kind of hard to see but I have labeled it prayer box and um, my mother like I said she did this when we were little and um, we did it together everybody had their own prayer box and you just simply get your get a box a shoe box and you tape it on one side and you tape it on the other side and you make a hole in the middle of the shoe box and I don't know if you can see inside there's papers and um, you also write on your prayer box one of your favorite scriptures and one of my favorite scriptures are is Psalms Psalms 23 the Lord is my shepherd so I love that. I love that scripture and it resonates with my spirit and with me. So I wrote that on both sides of my prayer box. All right. And like I say, you can write what resonates with you, what scripture or whatever the case may be on your prayer box. And so I felt the need to come, you know, because I've had quite a few people kind of ask me, uh, I thought I would do a video with you guys. Um, about it and i'm gonna do it with my kids i'm a little late doing it but i guess you're never too late um doing it i just have to get some more you know shoe boxes and do it and i mean i'll give you an example if you are worried about a test that you're taking and you're in college and you know you you just really worry about it you just simply write it on a piece of paper you write on a piece of paper talking to the most high um, talking to God, however you, you know, may call him, you just write it down. You write whatever it is that you want God to help bless you with. And you write it down, you fold it really tight, really good, and you put it in your prayer box. And um, I also use holy oil on my prayer box. My kids know I don't want, you know, my husband, sometimes he'll make a mistake and put things on. I'm like, no, 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 don't put anything on my prayer box. Only thing that should be on your prayer box box um nothing actually and the only thing should be in your prayer box is all of your prayers or whatever it is that you want god to um bless you with or work on with or whatever the case may be should be inside your prayer box but i tell them don't put anything on my prayer box i mean unless you have another prayer box you can stack on top of it that's fine but that's just what i do um i do have another one um, it is literally guys it's up to like it's up to here like all the way up to here um, and when you run out of space 
you just move on to another prayer box and what i try to do periodically i'll go through it of course i'll take one tape off of one side i'll go through it um i mean i literally go through it and any of the blessed like any of whatever it is that you put in your prayer box that he has answered or he has all um, done for you you take it out you get you, you throw it away because it's done it's already done he's already did what what needs to be done so it's time for you to just start over again uh so yeah so i just clean it out every so often whatever the prayers that he has not answered yet I just leave, I put it back in the prayer box. And that's that's how I do. Um, and I guess with those other prayer boxes, it's time for me to clear it out as well. So that's why I'm on for number two. But yeah, um, and so that's that's what I do. And the reason for taping it is, you know, so like if you, you know, move it around or whatever, it doesn't fall out. All of your, everything is in this box. So you want to try to seal it as much as you can. So, um, I think this is a great thing to do. I thank God for my mother that she, um, brought this to, um, you know, introduce this to us and it's just been a tradition in our family. I don't know where she got it from, but, um, it's a tradition that has stuck with me. I don't know, you know, leave a comment below if you, you know, your family or your mother, or whoever it is that you look up to and you all have a tradition that you do together. Hey, I would love to know if you don't mind sharing, you know, some things, you know, I know you like to keep to yourself, but if you don't mind sharing and leaving a comment below what, um, helps you carry on uh, through life or how you go about communicating uh, with the most high um, yeah so please share I love it so I'm hoping you know that this was helpful to you all and that maybe you can go ahead and start your prayer box um, you know really soon uh, rather than later and like I said it's, it's a really positive really good thing and um, when my mind is racing or um, I'm feeling fearful, whatever the case may be, I just go right to my prayer box and I put it in here and um, the Most High takes care of it for me and then I just leave it there, you know? So you just have to have a sacred place um, somewhere in some form, some fashion where you could just go to and just lay all your cares upon it, upon it so um this is what um this is what i do um so yeah guys i hope that was helpful um for you all and that you stay encouraged you stay blessed and when one door opens closed another one opens and we just must keep pressing our way and keep going um we know that there are um sirens around you know all the time but that won't stop you know and we just met we just have to keep pressing guys and i love you all i hope this was helpful and i will see you guys on the next video see you later for now